So um, as we get started this hour, um, I just want to take a minute to, probably 10 minutes, to, um, to, to actually respond to a request I was given by the Chaper Seminary Board regarding um, the work we're doing here for seminary uh, classes as a Chaper Seminary Extension campus. I think the northernmost Extension campus. Um, and um, yes, if you come to Chaper Seminary here in Preston, you can uh, swim in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, in the summertime, um, if you can stand the cold water. Anyway, uh, I have up here with me, as everyone here knows, Ryan Baker, um, a man that uh, I'm convinced, and you are too, is a pastor by gift, and uh, more and more by training and a function in this church. And um, so I just, Ryan's been with me for everything we've done for Chafer Seminary classes. So I had a couple of questions I wanted to ask you, and um, sure. uh, we've, been, we've been together for seven years working side by side and um, so just a, a few questions about the Chaper Seminary experience as a student here in church with uh, the, the, the difficult job of having me as your teacher as also your pastor one of the seminary professors so um, first question is what have you done with uh, coursework for Chaper Seminary since, since uh, we started doing this so we've gone through uh, Greek 1 and 2 um, and uh, did it at a pace that uh, was was realistic uh, with my professional life and um, uh, and also really drilled it into me uh, so um, Greek one Greek two Bible study methods and uh, currently working through uh, Hebrew one okay and um, it reminds me we also did a couple of theology courses here you got to uh, at least see part of right we did I did a, a uh, I did a history of doctrine uh, course uh, online it wasn't here okay. but it was through Chafer and framework one and two and framework one framework and two one. okay that's correct framework so, one and two so actually so we've had classes going i mean every week we have a, a meeting for a seminary class and several of you come um and uh ryan has been able to uh, attend most of them and um so what about flexibility well, flexibility is key because i run a business and it's uh it's difficult uh, i can't obviously pack up and move and it's actually been to my benefit that I haven't been able to pack up and move because it's uh, provided an opportunity to not just get classwork, but hands-on training and time with you and, and uh, time in front of the church. So it's been very advantageous and uh, very compatible with lifestyle. So about, about the in front of the church, could you say that the seminary work here has impacted your pulpit ministry here, your no, pastoral ministry here? No question about it because doing ex exegesis, um, and, and, and teaching what, what I glean out of my studies. So there's no doubt about it. It's not just a, an academic exercise, which none of this should be anyway, but to study and then present it uh, to the church is, um, is very helpful. Let's see, if I could, I'd interview the whole church. I'd turn the camera around and, and for the video purposes and uh, ask, has Ryan not been effective um, and what we've done with him. I mean, the, the seminary has definitely helped him with his skills, and he's benefited us with har all his hard work at studying and uh, leading, heading up uh, various pastoral ministries we do with our church. And um, I think that, from my understanding of Ephesians 4, 11, and 12, you know, pastor isn't an office in the Bible. It's a gift in Ephesians 4, 11. And you have as many gifted people in whatever giftedness God gives. You, only, you, you can't say you have one pastor of a church because it's a spiritual gift. And so by that mentality, you would have to like kick him out at some point. But no, we're here to train and equip, and that means function. And so Ryan has a function here that he wouldn't have um, as much if we didn't have a seminary program locally. So geographically. You still um, might kick me out. Well, well no, eventually. <laughs> eventually, you know. Um, but uh, let's talk geography. So part of the, the new model that Chaper is moving into is, is not local. Uh, I mean, not, not to go to a central location like Albuquerque or something, but to have it distributed so that you get to stay where you are uh, in ministry. What, what, what can you say about how that's been effective for you? I think the benefits of having a trained pastor uh, working with you is it, it, can't be, uh, it can't be overestimated. Not just uh, office hours but actually working through ministry in the church uh, when something comes up and um, having opportunities to work together on these things over the years, things have 
things have come up and, and we, we go to the scriptures and we say, okay, what's the right way to handle this? And then also working up a passage and, and training. I remember especially in the, in the beginning, um, we would sit down for like eight or ten hours in the sitting before the kids were all born. <laughs> we can't do that anymore. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So the, the internship has been ongoing, and it's, it's, it's not really a, like an official uh, curricular thing where we write it down with the school. It's being the, we're the church, and we're functioning as a church, and I think that's kind of the intention. That's what seminaries always intended to do is to pro prop up the church and equip it. And um, so uh, this has been a real blessing. Our work together has been a real blessing to me. I and agree. Uh, I think it's a good... Um, a good stable way to to hone your skills and to function where you are and I think that's uh, that's going to be more and more available at Chaper Seminary going forward. I think it's a good model. So hopefully we'll be able to farm you out send you over to a course down in Houston a course down in DC a course somewhere else where the pastors will hold courses and um, that's kind of the next the next generation is that we we host a course once every three four months at a different location and then you got to travel but once you've traveled you're there for it. Absolutely. So. All right. Hey, well, thanks, Ryan. Thank you. All right. <clears throat>